emisión.net Hello again and welcome to Letter from England, broadcasting for AC Press and the Spanish Evangelical Alliance. The evangelical world, and the evangelicals in particular, have sometimes been accused of a lack of organization, a lack of professionalism. But the staggering news this week is that two Christian homes are under threat because of the debt accumulated at an evangelical congress two years ago. Is it the credit crunch or simply bad planning? or an overambitious project? Overspending? Well, two members of the Executive Committee of the Evangelical Council of Andalusia could have their assets impounded if a €150,000 debt is not paid off. Luciano Gomez, the chairman of the council, has sent a letter to all evangelical churches and organizations in the region of Andalusia with an urgent request that they send donations. Now, the first Evangelical Congress of the region was held in 2006, and two years on has an outstanding debt of €150,000. Outstanding in both senses of the word, quite clearly. In the letter, Gomez starts by listing the achievements of the Congress in helping evangelicalism be seen as a normal part of life in the region, and not some odd or dangerous cult. The normalization of evangelicals in Andalusia was formalized through the signed agreement of cooperation with the Andalusian Parliament or Assembly. Gomez then goes on in his letter to warn that the aims of the Congress, including the development of this agreement, may not be met unless the debt is paid off. A debt, of course, which hardly gives a good testimony in and of itself uh, to, evangelical, well, to the Gospel uh, by evangelicals. Now, a debt which is threatening also to lead to two committee members losing their homes, which may be repossessed to cover the debt. Now, Gormeth realises that some people might question the enormous cost of the Congress, uh, not to mention the fact that such a huge debt uh, was accumulated, but steps round this by saying that now is not the time to criticise or find people to blame. Although, he says, we accept the criticism, that is, and apologise for the mistakes made at the time by those in charge. But it is now time, he says, for us to go urgently to the aid of these two servants of God. Following a previous request for funds to help pay off the debt several months ago, the Evangelical Council of Andalusia received €20,000 and was able to cover the corresponding payment. However, with regard to the remaining €130,000, it has tried to gain time by coming to arrangements with the two banks to whom it owes money. In an attempt to halt the demands process, and the embargo of the homes of the two men who have underwritten the loans. The banks, though, have rejected such approaches, and, says Gomez, once again the sword of Damocles hangs over our brothers and their families. He then turns up the heat. I honestly believe, he says, before God, that the Church cannot allow this to happen. It would not be just, nor would it please God. We must prevent it from happening, and that's why I'm making this urgent SOS call so that every evangelical church in Andalusia helps to pay off this debt once and for all. Well, so much for the letter and the request. Four evangelical churches in Cordoba have said that they will give €10,000 each, uh, which is obviously uh, a very uh, helpful contribution, but much still remains to be paid off. Well, without all the details of how the Congress was established and how it spent its money at our disposal, uh, it's impossible to judge, and that's not what we're called to do. But a couple of principles do stand out. The first is the uh, worrying, in my view anyway, tendency uh, um, in evangelicalism, a worrying love for pomp and ceremony. Uh, the, uh, there has to be uh, an impressive lineup um, of speakers and chairmen and leaders um, every organization and denomination has to be included and covered. Uh, there's also uh, a great desire to show that evangelicals are uh, up with the best in technology and all the rest. And, of course, there's no excuse for being shoddy. Uh, but another thing is having always to be at the cutting edge um, of things when perhaps the resources in the evangelical world are not quite as great as those in other uh, parts of society. And the second principle which stands out uh, is the desire, again, I think a worryingly excessive desire for recognition uh, by 
uh, well, all and sundry, really, but particularly by the authorities. And this also uh, leads to a tendency to perhaps overstep the mark in putting on an overambitious, in this case, Congress. Clearly, a debt of €150,000 begs quite a few questions. How did they come to spend so much? How did they come to uh, get such a huge shortfall? And how come two men, two church leaders, have been saddled with the responsibility for, the, uh, for this debt? Uh, clearly, they've signed uh, agreements uh, to underwrite the loans um, if there's a, a shortfall, as there now is. But there seems to be no system in place uh, for dealing with that shortfall uh, should, uh, should it arise. And, of course, it clearly has arisen. Well, the lesson to be learned, one at least, uh, is that uh, in future, when organising evangelical events, they, uh, financial uh, decisions have to be much more uh, measured and sensible. And the second thing now, particularly in the context of the Evangelical Congress of Andalusia, is it reasonable to expect evangelical churches across the region to cough up large sums of money uh, to get the uh, folk who put up this Congress on out of the huge hole into which they've dug themselves. Well, thank you for listening to Letter of Mingle Broadcasting at emission.net. Goodbye for now. Emisión punto net.